Oh, well, hi. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Black Dot Miniatures and Paints. Kevin coming back to you this week. This week, we are finishing up the Space Marines Adventure Box that we got from Target a couple weeks back. So far out of this box set, we've done the Blood Angels, the Salamander, the Ultramarine, and finally we're bringing you the Imperial Fist. I don't really see the point in bringing you the Space Wolf because this channel is flooded with Space Wolf content. As many of you may know, I love my Space Wolf, so no point in doing that. So we started this model off with a white primer, and then we started hitting him with some red ink. Honestly, you can tell by how ginger I'm being with this, I'm going on real light. I'm a little afraid of it at this point, but what we're trying to do is just establish the red in the deeper recesses where shadows are going to fall. So at the bottom is the leg plates, all in this core section of his armor where all that stuff is being covered. From there, all we're going to do is put a layer over this of brilliant yellow ink. Now, what this is going to do is act as the undercoat. So the yellow is going to go on top of the red, it's going to go on top of the white, and where it goes over the red, it's going to be tinted to a different color. It's going to look a little bit deeper yellow, more to an orange, and it's going to be an appropriate shadow for what we're trying to establish. Now again, this is the first time I've ever done this, so we were a little afraid of it. We are being kind of gentle with it, so what we had to keep doing was just put on layers and layers and layers of this stuff. No big deal, we just work slow. There was a couple points where we had to go up and try and reestablish it, tone down some of these reds, but all in all, it wasn't a bad process at all. Now once we get all of our yellows lined up, we want to come through with a mix of Everland Sunset and Ceramite White. All we're doing here is going through and picking out our edge highlights, trying to just hit points where the light's going to hit and cause the armor to just have a little bit of difference in it. Do the typical edge highlighting. So we're going to focus all around his leg plates, all around the armor panels on the model, his fingers, um, anywhere where light's going to hit on the edges of the metal and you want to ex ex accentuate that. So just take your time, very typical work up to any single edge highlighting model we do. It does take a while, but at the same time, it's well worth the effort we put into it. So while I got you sitting here watching me do this edge highlighting, I just want to say a quick thank you to everybody. Thank you all for coming back, checking this out week after week. It really means a lot to me. It gives me the inspiration that I need to keep working to bring y'all content. I'm constantly trying to go, well, what can I show my audience next week to try and teach them something, show them something, help them improve themselves in this hobby. The one thing I will say about this model is I was very terrified of it, but we pushed through it. We pushed past it so we could bring y'all something, show y'all my mistakes and how to fix it. So don't be afraid of these models. They're just plastic. You can do it. Thank y'all for watching me do it. All right, guys. So next we moved on to Abaddon Black. We're picking out the whole heavy bolter component in the backpack, all the cords, creases in his armor and then we also went around this model and did all of the recesses in his power armor so you can see real well on the legs there we just have nice black lines splitting up his armor panels the trick here was time and patience right I picked up a triple zero with a nice tip and we just started being very very deliberate with what we were doing just trying to make sure we didn't go too crazy there were some spots that we did go a little bit crazy, so we busted out the alcohol swab. This is only like 70% alcohol, no big deal. But with the paint being in the recesses, we're able to go through, wipe the surfaces only a few times, very, very light pressure, and we're able to take off some of that black. Now you'll see like on the tip of the toe, somewhere like that, I went a little bit too hard, we scraped off that black. No big deal, just be careful. Next, we started painting the trim around his shoulder pads. We're using the fist in red, and all we're doing, again, is being very careful and just picking out the red around this. We're also picking the little skull on his chest out with red. Unfortunately, this model didn't have a red Aquila. That would have been awesome. I think those look awesome whenever I see an Imperial Fist Troop with the red Aquilas, but we work with what we got. So next, we moved on to Lead Belcher. We're just going through and we're cutting in every single metallic item on this guy. It's a little bit hard to tell on the camera, but that's all we're doing. So the barrel to his heavy bolter, the handle to his heavy bolter, um, the vents for his power pack, all the general stuff that we would normally do when it comes to this. So this is not near as scary. We're working a silver over a black. That's okay. But when we start picking out the little trim bits on his knees, yeah, a little bit intimidating. So again, just working careful, working deliberate, but staying busy. We don't want this model to take 400 years. We want to be able to knock it out quickly and efficiently. So 
So now we move on to Evil Sun Scarlet, and all we're trying to do here is highlight the power armor shoulder pads that we have here. So towards the top of these shoulder pads, we're going to have a highlight coming down because that's where the sun's coming down, top down, right? From there, we're going to do the corners of the shoulder pads. We're going to do where it wraps around right here. We're going to go through and pick out his eyeball, and then we're also going to hit the top of the skull on his chest. So the biggest thing here is if it doesn't look right, go back to your Mephiston Red. Try again. Not a big deal whatsoever. Just try and make sure you put some sort of highlight in there to cause a little bit of differentiation and add some interest to it. Right here you can really see how nice the tip of this brush is. We had a nice brush cleaning day the other day. We spent probably 45 minutes to an hour just trying to get these as close to factory standard as possible. So brush care is super important. Definitely spend the time to do that. Then we move on to Wild Rider Red. All we're doing here is edge highlighting the shoulder pads. Again, nothing crazy whatsoever, easy mode. Just work with the side of your brush, put these nice highlights in, you'll be good to go. All right, so right here, this is entirely dealer's choice, but we came through with the dry brush of Dawnstone. To be fair, to be honest, I did do a little bit of both. There were some areas that it was just so easy to get through on this backpack that we did use the side of the brush, laid in some nice edge highlights. But at the same time, this gave me a nice result in the end with very minimal amounts of work. So 100% dealer's choice. It's your model painted up how you want to do it. You can do both and both look good just to varying standards. From there, we came through with a layer of known oil. Again, nothing crazy whatsoever here. The biggest thing with this entire model is do not jack up this yellow armor. You work so hard to build a nice established yellow. Don't touch it with your fingers. Don't touch it with any other paint color. If you do, try and get it off as quickly as possible. And again, I'm gonna recommend the crap out of gloss varnishing this thing. Put layers down, have this thing protected so you can come back through with an alcohol swab, clean that sucker up and be good to go. To highlight our metallics, we're coming through with the Rune Fang Steel. Easy peasy on this one. We're just trying to hit the areas on the metal where light would glint. So around the top of the power pack vents, the bullets in the heavy bolter casing, the barrel to the weapon, stuff like that. No problem. Next, we move on to Retributor Armor. There's only two little details here. There's a skull and crossbones on the heavy bolter itself, and then we also have an Aquila on the back of his power pack. Just make sure you get a nice opaque layer here. Because we are working black, it should be pretty good to go. But there was a little spot in the back on the Aquila where I was working a little too thin, had to put two coats on. No big deal. So now we're coming through with Reikland Flesh Shade. This is your basic workup, right? It's kind of like putting known oil over silver. What? You do that? Really? Whoa, no way. Yeah. Alright guys, so our final color is Retribute Armor. We're just coming through and highlighting back up what the Reikland Flesh Shade dulled down. So the top of the skull, outside of the crossbones, and then the Aquila as y'all see me do here. So in the long run guys, this only took me about two hours from start to finish to get this sucker painted up. Not too bad, not too long. Now we are excluding dry times. You know, dry times don't count because you just set it down and walk away from it. But a lot of the time was spent just staring at it going, how the heck do I paint this? I've never done this before, I don't know. The biggest thing is don't let that intimidate you, right? If you find something that you don't know how to do, watch some resource videos on it, watch the way some people do it that maybe you trust, ask questions. But at the end of the day, do it. Push yourself to do it, accomplish the mission, get it squared away, okay? Don't be afraid of a color scheme because it might be hard. Don't be afraid of a, a model because it might be difficult to get to. You can do it. I can do it. Everybody can do it, okay? If you saw something you liked here, please like, comment, subscribe. Share it to someone who's starting an Imperial Fist Army. That'd be super helpful. But big thing is just paint your models. Get it done, okay? We'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.